Today, police find gun accessories in the Osprey Flats. And the women's tennis team are hoping to claim a win today. Stay tuned because Spinnaker News starts right now. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen, and you're watching Spinnaker News. So we got a lot going on in sports today, don't we? We do. There's there's a beach volleyball tournament match that we're going to be covering, and the tennis game's coming up for the women. And there's also some real news going on today, too, right? Yeah, that's right. We got some police stories. We got a gun accessory found, some suspicious stoners. So a lot going on. But Sounds we'll, like crazy stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But we'll see you over at the green screen. Okay. All right. We've got a couple recent police incidents from around campus. First, a UNFPD officer found two people in a car smoking marijuana in the Osprey Fountains parking lot last Wednesday. The suspects are not students or staff at UNF. The officer gave them a trespass warning and told them if they returned to UNF, they would be subject to arrest. Also, some gun accessories were found in the Osprey Flats apartment last Monday. The items were found in a closet while a new resident was moving into the apartment. Housing staff said the former resident of the room had not lived there for months and was not a UNF student. UNFPD was contacted to remove the items, which were placed in the JSO property room. For more details on these stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. The Institute of Police Technology and Management, or IPTM, at UNF has secured commitments of $5 million from the Florida Department of Transportation to fund traffic safety programs and provide training to law enforcement officers. These grants will implement programs that will help police officers improve public safety and reduce traffic crashes. The IPTM is part of the UNF's Training and Services Institute. It is a direct support organization providing training to law enforcement professionals across the U.S. and abroad. All right, we're going to head over to our green screen with your Spinnaker Sports Report. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Lassen coming to you with the Thursday Sports Update. After losing its opening match 4-1, the North Florida Beach Volleyball team came back with a 3-2 victory against number 9 ranked Stetson yesterday afternoon at the Cooper Beach Volleyball Courts to begin Atlantic Sun Conference play. Definitely a good success story. Junior Karina Hoff and redshirt freshman Brittany Pace opened up the victories with a 21-18 and a 21-20 win at the number 5 court. So very close games. The Ospreys continue A-Sun Conference play against the Old Eagles from FGCU in Mercer at Estero Community Park on Friday and Saturday. North Florida sophomore Lasse Mushietz captured a second straight A-Sun Men's Tennis Player of the Week award after leading his team to an upset over number 64 ranked Georgia State. Lasse won his sixth straight victory in number two singles by a score of 6-3 to three to defeat the Panthers. He's largely to thank for the team's success, as he leads the team with an 8-5 mark in duels matches, with his last game against Georgia State being the Ospreys' fourth win over a ranked opponent this season. Very big deal. So the team will travel to the USF Quad Tournament this weekend to face USF, VCU, and Pepperdine. Moving on to some more tennis on the women's side, the UNF women's tennis team has quite a busy schedule coming ahead. They head north to face off with A-Sun newcomer NJIT today at 2 p.m. in New Jersey and USC Upstate on Saturday. After their trip up north, they will return home to host Lipscomb and Kennesaw State. Even if you can't make it out to the courts in person, live scoring will be available online for all of the matches, so make sure to stay tuned in. And let's wish our women the best of luck. Finally, after two weeks, a new episode of Center Court is finally here. Ryan Hennessy and Alex Gatlin are off spring break and back at it again with the sports show. If you weren't able to catch the showing last night for whatever reason, make sure to head over to the Spinnaker's YouTube page and see what you missed. Well, that wraps up all the Sports Bites for today. Let's take it back over to the desk. Thanks, Alex. And make sure you download Spinnaker's new and free app in the App Store so you can stay up to date on everything that's going on at UNF. Also, don't forget we are on social media. You can like us on Instagram or follow us on Twitter. That's right. That's right. For Spinnaker News, I'm Elizabeth Norton. And I'm Alex Lassen. Have a great day, UNF.